Forbes is a prominent and widely recognized publication that focuses on business, entrepreneurship, and finance. The magazine has a long history and has been in circulation since 1917. An automotive technology tycoon acquired an 82% stake in Forbes Global Media Holdings, parent of the well-known business magazine. The deal values the business magazine at close to $800 million. The mysterious billionaire who bought Forbes is Austin Russell, an entrepreneur who's a pioneer for autonomous vehicles. The 28-year-old is the founder and CEO of Luminar, which develops vision-based LiDAR and machine perception technologies primarily for self-driving cars. I'm Austin Russell. Uh, I'm the team leader for Luminar Technologies, based up in the Bay Area by Stanford in the U.S. At the age of 15, Austin Russell applied for his first patent for a groundwater recycling system to reuse water from sprinklers. He had a vision and an entrepreneurial mindset from a very young age. Russell founded Luminar in 2012, while he was still in high school, shortly before turning 17. He graduated from St. Margaret's Episcopal School in 2013. He also studied at the Beckman Laser Institute at the University of California while in high school. Russell had said that he often teaches himself new skills from Wikipedia articles and YouTube videos. After graduating from high school, he attended Stanford University for three months, taking courses in applied physics. Russell won $100,000 from the Thiel Fellowship in 2013, leading him to drop out and focus on Luminar full-time. The company spent its first five years in stealth mode. Rather than purchasing components, Russell engineered and manufactured Luminar's LiDAR components himself. Russell's goal was to develop LiDAR technology with improved resolution and range by having Luminar fabricate many components in-house, rather than relying on off-the-shelf devices. To increase the time automotive LiDAR provides for a vehicle to react safely from 1 second to 7 seconds at highway speeds, Luminar decided to reevaluate the standard operating wavelengths for LiDAR systems. Luminar's LiDAR operates in an infrared range of 1,550 nanometers, rather than the usual 905 nanometers. This moved the LiDAR signal out of the range of visual light, making it safe for human eyes even at higher power levels. Luminar's infrared range can be used at power levels 40 times those permitted for the standard wavelength without endangering eyesight, increasing its revolution, especially at distances over 200 meters. Luminar emerged from stealth mode in April 2017 and received $36 million in Series A funding. The capital was embarked to set up a factory in Orlando to manufacture 10,000 automotive LiDAR devices. Russell's expertise and entrepreneurial vision have earned him recognition in the industry, and Luminar has secured partnerships with major automotive companies to integrate their LiDAR technology into future autonomous vehicles. His contributions have played a role in pushing the boundaries of autonomous driving technology and shaped the future of transportation. In September 2017, Luminar announced a partnership with the Toyota Research Institute. The research and development arm of Toyota focused on autonomous vehicles, AI, and robotics. The Toyota Research Institute uses Luminar devices in its Platform 2.1 test vehicles, a fleet of self-driving Lexus sedans. Audi also announced a partnership with Luminar in December 2018, selecting Luminar's LiDAR due to its longer 250-meter range in high resolution. In July 2019, Luminar raised $100 million in additional funding, bringing total capital raised to more than $250 million. It also developed a new model of its LiDAR, approximately one-third the size of the previous model. At the time, Luminar had 250 employees at the Central Florida Research Park in Orlando and another 100 in California. The company's portfolio included almost 50 patents, with approximately 150 additional patent applications pending. In May 2020, Volvo announced a self-driving highway feature, Highway Pilot, to be powered by Luminar's third-generation Iris LiDAR. Volvo said that the technology would be available as an option to car buyers, starting with the XC90. Also, Tom Fenimore, previously an investment banker, joined Luminar as chief financial officer. Luminar had great timing. It went public December 2020, making Austin Russell the world's youngest self-made billionaire at the age of 20. 
2025. Austin Russell has made significant contributions to the development and implementation of LiDAR technology in the autonomous vehicle industry. He is considered to be a highly intelligent individual. Russell has demonstrated exceptional technical skills and entrepreneurial acumen. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe to World of Finance TV.